Workflow management becomes important for any company that wants to track any of their processes in the system and who is doing each task within those processes. So whether you're on the R&D side and you want to track a specific R&D process, whether you're on the purchasing side and you create a requisition that requires some sort of a sign off for that particular purchase. Or let's say you're making a new customer and you want to track the process of turning that prospect into a customer where you have different people doing tasks such as setting terms and credit limits, identifying specific contact people, and maybe all the different ship tools that go with that particular build tool. So within the DCOM software, we can manage workflow in many different places. So as I come in here and I look at a specific workflow process that we may want to identify, then this particular piece of the software is where we would set up those workflows, where we can have as many different steps within that process that we want to track. We may then assign those steps to specific people or groups of people. And then we can identify additional things within that particular step within the process, such as, is it required for production? Is it required to create a new job? If you're in a regulated area, such as FDA regulated for pharmaceutical, cosmetic, nutraceutical, you may even require electronic signature sign-off, which would be a username and password to have this step approved within the system. Once we've identified these different groups, we can then start to assign these to different items, different customers, or maybe even different orders within the software. So if we take a quick look at a bill material or a formula, and I'm just gonna drill into a specific listing of different formulas within the software. And what we'll see here is that we can then identify which specific workflow process may apply to this particular item. So over here on the right-hand side is where we'll identify that workflow process. So when we're going through R&D for a specific item within the system, this will allow me to identify all those different steps that we may need to go through. We can assign it, as I mentioned, to specific people. We can give it plan dates we want done by, and we can track the completion of this within the system. As these get assigned to different people, we also can set up a home screen view that allows those users to then see the tasks that may have been assigned to them, it may show them any tasks that they've assigned to somebody else, or it may just be the full project that they're monitoring of all the different tasks and assignments that have been made within that particular system.